everyone tuning in to Mac TV today. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you guys are safe with your families and you guys are getting through this in a positive manner. I'm really glad to bring you guys another exclusive interview here on Mac TV. Today's guest is a Canadian cricketer and when it comes to batting, he's a full on beast. So I'm so excited to have Rizwan Chimo with us here today, and we're going to get to relive a lot of his great moments. So Rizwan, how has your lockdown been going so far? Uh, it's going all right. You know, it, it's it's not uh, very convenient for us because uh, we've been used to, you know, going out so much. So it's just um, crazy times. We, you know, we can't really do anything what we used to do. So, but still, you know, every opportunity you get, uh, it's it's you know you just use it in a, in a way so you can get to enjoy even you know we never get to sit at home and find out what uh, we're capable of you know uh, other than cricket so I'm just learning a few other things and uh, so it's a good experience so far not bad yeah so since we have you here on this exclusive interview for Max TV. You got to tell us some insights of what's going on, you know, day to day, like some activities that you're doing, any new hobbies that you've kind of taken upon to kind of make sure that your time goes by in a fun manner as well. Yeah, um, you know, uh, since we're in, so uh, I'm just keeping the training going, actually. Uh, I want to make sure, uh, you know, the fitness uh, is always there. So I... I mostly go out in 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 a in a night now uh, okay. uh, to just make sure you know no crowd around so it's, you know have empty streets just make sure <laughs> I run around a little bit mm-hmm. and uh, sometime when the weather is nice I just go out and uh, you know make sure keep uh, safe from people and uh, keep the distance and then you know do all the activities exercise whatever mm-hmm. I can get. And you know, I think just making uh, use of all, uh, all, all I get out out there. Yeah. So I mean, everyone knows how Rizwan Chima is so big on fitness. You know, like I, you've always, I've always seen so many videos of you. You know, making sure that you're always getting your exercises in. So what are some changes? I mean, that you've had to come across because you can't go to the gym. You can't really do what you used to do. But how have you kind of changed that to still make sure you get your fitness in? And right now during this lockdown. How much, you know, time have you been spending? Is it still the same amount of time or have you had to switch it up a bit just because of what's going, what's going around? Uh, fitness is, uh, you know, it's, it's very big part of any athlete, uh, yeah. I think, um, life. And uh, in, what I do is I used to go to gym, you know, it's, it was a different. And you, even with the less time you can mm-hmm. get to, you know, do more. But yeah. now I have I have plenty of time, so I I, I make sure I you know I, I spend more since there's not enough uh, equipments out there to do it properly. But I yeah. still have you know it, it, it's it's not very difficult for me in a way because you know you, you know most of the stuff you know you yeah. know your body well you know which exercise you need to do, yeah. so you just need to find a space in in a house and then you just you know you work on anything you like. So uh, I, I have stuff at home. So uh, I have dumbbells, uh, luckily, at home. So I, I, I make sure I use them in, in a different uh, exercises to, mm-hmm. to stay, stay in shape. Yeah, definitely. So now besides fitness, you know, what else have you been doing? Any new hobbies? Have you been watching a lot of Netflix or movies or anything like that? Movies, I finish all of them. I think <laughs> <laughs> I've been. Uh, I I was very bad in movies actually before. I I um, wasn't really uh, good in watching movies before, mm-hmm. I, and I, I I watching quite a lot these days. Yeah. And uh, another thing, I was uh, uh, bad in reading books too, and I started that too. So those uh, uh, two things, I think, uh, added up. And yeah, you know, learn a few things to cook too. So yeah, definitely. You know, so you you figure out it's not only cricket; you have another talent too. <laughs> exactly. I think a lot of people have found a lot of talents during this quarantine, exactly. especially the cricketers. Definitely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I see you. You know, you're wearing your jerseys. How much are you missing cricket? 
you know, how much are you missing tournaments? Uh, and we would have been in Florida, I mean, especially this month as well with the Max T Center. So how much are you missing, you know, being yeah, out there in the field? Yeah, that's what I'm waiting. This me, MACT 10, that yeah. we were we were the champion last year, and yeah. then uh, we couldn't able to go this year. It's uh, it's frustrating at, at times. I think you know uh, uh, that's the only uh, place we wanna be as as a you know obviously we're cricketers, mm-hmm. so we wanna be out yeah. there on the field play cricket. So it's uh, a definitely a big miss in our in life, and um, but I think. Uh, everything happened for reasons and yeah. uh, let's let's make sure all these uh, bad stuff goes away soon and we go back yeah. out there and start playing cricket again. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can miss being on the field, but we can obviously remember the times by talking about cricket. So let's talk a little bit about cricket. So how many years have you been in U.S. Open for? Damn, I don't... <laughs> 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 that, uh, that many years you don't even remember <laughs> uh yeah it's been a while i think uh, i i represented the i think quite a few franchises so yeah. um i think um, uh, and i've been with the mac for two three years now yeah so uh, probably seven eight years so okay. uh, i've been going there and yeah. every time um uh, i think u.s open is one one thing we all look forward to every year mm-hmm. It's an uh, amazing tournament just yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for our North American uh, players, especially. It's, it's pretty much in our backyard and mm-hmm. it's very competitive tournament. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, you know, I'm sure everyone look forward to this tournament. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, U.S. Open cricket started in 2009. That was when the first edition happened, which means it was only a year after IPL started. So, that U.S. Open has been there before many of the league cricket starts. So it's kind of amazing that North America had, you know, something like this. That, exactly. It's so competitive. You know, people from all over, players from all over the, around the world have been joining it. You know, not just players that live here, but even many international players, domestic players from all over. So it's really cool to get that experience. So, you know, being with U.S. Open for so many years, how have you seen the progress? you know, that Mac and his team have brought to the game? You know, every year I think it's always changing and getting better. So from when you first started and now, what are some changes you've seen? Uh, you know, uh, I always uh, admire uh, the work uh, um, Mac and his team put into the, this tournament. Yeah. And, and, you know, uh, look where this tournament is now. Every, you know, every year there, um, you know, superstars comes in the tournament and play. Uh, so um, it's it's so, um, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, I think, so, so good to see uh, the tournament like that in North America, mm-hmm. where uh, you know it's it's difficult to bring out all these um, big names, yeah. and Mac is doing that for years. It's it's so you know, you know I, I really admire the work he's been doing. So um, and every time I go there, I probably enjoy the most, in most you know. So um, I'm 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 really gonna um, shout out to him and his team. So for the wonderful work they're putting in for these tournaments and it's getting better every year mm-hmm. the best mm-hmm. part is you know it, it was it was uh, um, you know up there before but now every year is imp- there is improvement and every year they work so hard you, you know since i've been his team i see you know it's not easy to ho- organize these events as even when there's a rain out there and you know i see them not you know uh, going home till and even you too, I, I'm sure you had experience. It was the last year you were there with yeah. the management. Uh, it's, it's, it's long hours. So it's, exactly. it's not an easy job. Yeah. And uh, the way he's been running this is so cool. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this was my second year, you know, coming to the game. I w- went last year as a spectator and then I got to, you know, have that fortunate chance to be a part of it and see all the insights. So agreed. It's, you know, it's so much work that gets put into it. So that we have cricket here as well. You know, there's cricket all over the world, but obviously we need it. And we have such a big league that's so competitive. So many teams come out, you know, and especially like the last edition, you got to be, it was U.S. All-Stars and Mutan Sultan together. So, you know, that was a different experience as well. So kind of how did you like that? You know, having some PSL players come from, you know, different PSL teams as well and getting to play along their side and kind of, you know, 
take on cricket to another level as well? It's it was uh, it was amazing, you know. It it was a great uh, um, you know experience for everyone out there, you know, to, to having a, a different taste in your team. You know, it, it was a PSL taste in in, in US Open, so it was it was a, you know uh, we laugh around, we chat around, and we you know we share experience uh, with with them, and you know obviously uh, they they um, they learn from us we learn from them so uh, it was an amazing uh, thing i think uh, the collaboration uh, mac did with multan sultan was uh, a great idea uh, to you know to to share experience uh, from them and from us so it, it was uh, it was it was it was actually quite experience yeah and i know this year it didn't happen but hopefully too and i know there was also that collaboration to take players you know from north america and bring them over to pakistan as well so hopefully that happens soon as well because that's you know taking another level where you're taking players here to give them a chance to kind of get at that level and play in other countries as well so you know he's doing so much to help players you know get that very vast experience that they usually won't be getting especially in america and our really bad wickets you know yeah, that was actually you know we're uh, we're all looking forward to go there, and unfortunately it didn't happen because of Bangladesh tour or something. But um, it was it was a great idea actually, you know, to mm -hmm. to to take players from here and then you know let them go there and you know feel have feel of PSL. It was it should have been an amazing experience for us to go and see. So um, all these things Mac has been doing is, I think it's, it's a great work he's putting in yeah. and, and, and his ideas are amazing to, you know, collaborate with all these big teams, yeah. to make sure, you know, uh, a North American players get that the same experience as they, they, they have. Yeah. And I mean, another thing he's done with Cricket Council USA and Mac they've done is bring that T10 format here as well. So, you know, T10, another shorter format. And let's also talk about your innings last year, your 122 <laughs> balls. And then even your 50 runs in, like, 14 balls and everything. So, 122 runs in a T10 format. Like, what do you eat to be able to score like that? <laughs> you know, uh, I have uh, 100 in every other format. So, uh, T10, it's, it's definitely a special because, uh, you know, uh, going out there and, uh, you know, uh, I, I I only play pretty much the, uh, the ten overs anyway, so that's yeah. like <laughs> perfect format for me. And then um, uh, I think uh, he had some money on sixes too, so that really helped. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could imagine that how much you must have loved that. So I know it's so sad that last year. I mean, I'm so upset I didn't get to go see that because that that's something that would have just been like. I remember seeing, you know, the score and just seeing the um, flyers that they put out and I was just like like so I was just like how insane is this you know to be able to score like that like I wish I could have seen that with my own eyes <laughs> yeah you know um, uh, when you go there you know especially uh, every time there's a different feeling in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a stadium in a where yeah. Mac hosts these these games you know this obviously you know it, it gives you a vibe of a good international cricket yeah. So um, I think um, that's what I love about uh, yeah. his own tournaments more. You know, he's just having that feel, uh, have a you know good competitive cricket, and then you go out there and express yourself. And then obviously, you know, if if you're good enough, you will you will get to score runs. Yeah, I mean, speaking of that that whole international feeling, I mean, last the last edition, you know, getting at USA Cricket accredited as well, and also having an ICC um, person kind of come there and you know so that was something that was you know taken to another level to help the players get that international feeling I mean for you you've played many international matches you've played a world cup as well yeah. so you know it's really cool for these players who don't have the opportunity yet to you know be playing such big matches so yeah. how do you think you know that's kind of helped and is helping players kind of get more adjusted to these type of settings it's definitely you know if, if these things are around and you know um, uh, and the youngsters all those you know, youngsters from from the team, they come in and and they see all these things. This yeah. is what you're gonna get in international cricket. So exactly. if you learn this and have that experience uh, in these tournaments, when you go represent your country or play in any of the big leagues, you you won't be feeling any different. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, so definitely, you know, having ICC guy around, 
uh, and you know having those anti corruption meetings and all those things yeah. it was it was quite a quite a quite a good gesture and a good thing from mac to make yeah. sure you know this this tournament is heading into the right right direction so uh, he's uh, you know that's what I, that's what i'm saying is growing and improving every year and it's amazing to see uh, uh, i i love us open and i obviously love uh, uh, any tournament uh, from mac out yeah. there so uh, i i really wish him wish him uh, luck on that to make sure he do all these things right yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he keep improving yeah and i mean so cricket council usa celebrated their 20th year anniversary last year so how do you think they've kind of helped progress canadian and usa cricket as well you know because one obviously having these tournaments but how do you think they mac and them have been able to kind of help progress the cricket that happens basically in north america it, it's, it's it's you know this um, uh, what mac is doing it's, it's playing a huge part in developing uh, cricket in north america not only in the us but also in canada you yeah. know i see lo- lots of players goes from here even some teams go play in that exactly. those tournaments so uh, it, it's you know it, it's gi- it's giving you uh, uh, that vibe just mm-hmm. before you uh, play international cricket yeah. so uh, you know um, a- and it's giving giving you exposure uh, you know so many players if you're doing well in this tour these tournaments your name will be up doesn't it doesn't matter who you are and doesn't matter yeah. which team you're representing so if you're doing well in these tournaments definitely selectors out there they will look for you the national teams even um uh, franchise team lokali khan he was out there and then now he's, he's all over the world mm-hmm. so these these uh, this definitely helping the players to grow their game and get exposure and you know go and represent all other leagues and teams yeah so another thing you know that mac and his team have done is also bring in that youth you know the youth us open as well so one thing i noticed even when i was speaking to a lot of the kids like they were so excited to have like a lot of the canadian kids that came they had two canadian teams that came from the youth camps and a lot of them were excited that you know they were like rizwan chima is here ali khan is here and you know these are the people they look up to you right these kids you know growing up in north america obviously you guys are going to be the stars because you guys have you know taken your cricket and shown to the world that you're capable of it you know whether it be living in america or canada so how do you think you know us the youth us open has been able to help kind of get kids that platform to be able to play in the stadium as well and you know give chances to them as well it's it's i think uh, what he, he he did with the with the juniors it, it, it's definitely a very 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 good uh, thing he did, he did bringing uh, all these uh, teams from all over not mm-hmm. only in the us and even you know it's, it's not only us and canada i think some teams come from caribbean as well so exactly. it's, it's 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 a great opportunity for all those kids to yeah. come and play in the stadium you know this you know if you if you you have that uh, um prize out there if you go to the final semi final and final you mm-hmm. might end up playing in the, in the stadium so uh, you know uh, that gives them you know where all these big names all these big players you know um, from you know international cricket they come and play in the same pitch same stadium and you mm-hmm. you you're going to play on the same so it, it it will give them lots of confidence you know lots of confidence in their career and and gives them uh, that uh, um, you know a hope to one day they will represent some big teams some and their countries and their nation, national sides so it it's it's a it's a great initiative from uh, mac and his team so i'm re- i'm really happy to see all those kids you know w- w- while we're there and they're there too so it's yeah. it's good it's good really good for them and and i'm i i'm really happy to see that yeah and another thing i mean they're trying to work on is also women's cricket so i mean in north america women's cricket is barely there yet So I mean obviously they're taking that initiative to kind of get women's cricket there and you know have women also have a chance to play at such platforms you know give them an experience to play at something that's you know in an international level style. So what is your take on that? I mean I think with USA and Canadian women I mean they're, they're still building on their teams. So I mean I definitely so. getting that platform how do you think is going to help? Yeah, you know uh, uh I've been uh, playing cricket 
here for for a while now and yeah. i know it's not easy for uh, associate teams or, or teams you know players in north america to to keep themselves motivated to yeah. to, to keep playing cricket so a uh, tournaments like this events like this if you if you, if you know if you if you uh, asking all these women are uh, you know youngsters to come in and uh, participate in these tournaments it's a huge for them it's it's a good opportunity for them to stay motivated through the year to make yeah. sure you know they have few tournaments they're not just uh, you know last out there so they it's, it's it'll be really helpful to grow the game for women and for uh, youngsters to uh, have these kind of events and i ask them to join in and participate in these tournaments it's 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 a it's a very good thing for the for the women and 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 juniors yeah for definitely what are some tips you would give to especially the juniors i mean i know a lot of them look up to you and kind of inspire by that the way you've taken canadian cricket as well and gotten it to other heights what are some tips you would give to aspiring cricketers that kind of live in north america you know, uh, one thing I always say is you, know, you always want to figure out what you want to really do in your life. If you, if you yeah. really want, you know, anything you want to do, it it's it's it all takes from inside. You know, you, you need to you need to have that drive inside. Otherwise, you know, we can all motivate people. We can there is a you know, you can coaches can tell you yeah do. But if you don't have that drive inside, it's not easy to go far. Yeah, you can you can be out there for a while, but uh, then you're gonna you know change a path. But if you if you if you have the drive to become an international player, or uh, you know even uh, to participate in all these leagues, you have you have a chance, you have an opportunity out there. And uh, trust me, it doesn't matter who you are, you will get opportunity. Yeah. If you if you have that drive, if you have that talent. And uh, the point is how much you're ready to take that opportunity. If you, if the opportunity comes and you're not even ready, it, it, it might be just an opportunity and then that, that's it. But you need to make sure, you know, you do all those things, work hard on, on yourself to yeah. make sure you're ready for that chance. When it comes, don't just miss it. Make sure you grab it with both hands. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, all the juniors watching, you definitely should use that as a tip to help further your career. So yeah. now let's talk about some of your favorite memories. So what is your favorite memory from the U.S. Open? Uh, favorite memories are many of many from U.S. Open. But uh, I think uh, um, we we won T10 last year. That was, a, that was good, uh, definitely. And mm -hmm. then... Uh, uh, I think a few years back we had we had a DJ Bravo and all these players in the same team and that was a quite experience and, and I was captaining them. It's a really good experience and yeah. uh, opportunity for me to learn and and play alongside all these players. So it was yeah. a it was a good experience. But I think honestly speaking, every time uh, I go to U.S. Open, it's uh, it's it's great feeling. It's, yeah. it's amazing to be out there and then, and then uh, 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 obviously getting the dinners from Ali Khan is a uh, quite experience too always. So <laughs> yeah, that, that's the best part as well. Definitely. If you had to be quarantined with one of your US All-Stars mates, who would, who would you choose? Uh, yeah, Ali Khan, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he will entertain me because he's always on social media so he will make sure he keep bringing the news from all over so he's, he's, he's yeah so he'll be entertained time. yeah yeah definitely now what is your favorite memory from the canadian side so what would you say is a precious memory uh canadian side uh, uh overall for me was obviously the world cup that's the most yeah. precious thing for sure um the, that was the best experience of my life, yeah. you know. Um, all, especially, you know, to all those youngsters out there. Uh, doesn't matter what you do, but if you have, if you go to the World Cup once, you will see how, you know, your, your journey kind of, uh, you know, complete uh, as as a cricketer. So just you know, yeah. participating, you and representing your nation to go there and then 
uh, playing in the World Cup. It's total a different experience. It doesn't matter what you do. Otherwise, where you play, where you go, which leagues you play, which tournaments you play. But yeah. obviously, the World Cup is uh, the number one thing in your life. Now, share some insights since you mentioned it. Share some insights about, you know, were you nervous when you were going there? Um, kind of while being there, what were some differences that you kind of experienced that you hadn't experienced before? I mean, I know it's a World Cup, but like, what was a different change? I mean, for me, I am an absolute fan of World Cup. So I can imagine, like, I have goosebumps just watching matches. You know, playing um, is a different story. <laughs> for me, uh, you know, it's, it's been long since I've been playing and it's been long since I've been playing in international cricket. Mm -hmm. Trust me, even if I had to play a local, any game today, I, I will have difficulty sleeping in the night before. Okay. That's how passionate I am about the game. Yeah. And World Cup was just a dream. World Cup was just, you know, the dream. You know, you, I, I don't really want to sleep. I don't really want to sleep the night before. Yeah. I just want to go out there and be in, in, in the stadium, be in the ground. Yeah. With, you know, so uh, it was uh, it was different for me. Obviously, everyone is different, but I just enjoyed every bit, every moment. You know, you're out there, you uh, the travels, you know, the hotels, you know, the places, you know, you, you go. Even the security is just annoying, but it's they are there for our safety, and then you know, it's it's a it's it's amazing. It's, you know, yeah. you go to the you know the mall, just close down the whole side for you, to just for a few players. So it's it's a different because you know the treatment is amazing. So yeah. it, it was it was a quite experience, definitely. Yeah, definitely, I can imagine that's incredible. So now let's play a quick rapid fire game. Sure. Okay, ready? Oh. So how many Man of the Match awards do you have? Do you have them all like somewhere displayed? I had them displayed, but I don't even remember how many. It's, 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 it's that many, I know. Oh, uh, I don't <laughs> so know. So many. Def like US Open, you're remember. always getting so many as well. So definitely I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember for, only for Canada. It's, it's quite a... Yeah. I know. I've seen so best, many of the trophies. Quite a <laughs> yeah, I will post. I will post the pictures for you for all of that. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Um, what would you say is your favorite thing to do when you come to U.S. Open? You know, off the field. I mean, you're always coming to Florida. So, what is something that you're always looking forward to as well? Uh, there's a chapli uh, kebab with me and Ali Khan go and eat. Okay. That is a really amazing place we we have fun in and then uh, yeah florida is obviously everywhere outside yeah. of cricket it's, it's exactly like, yeah. yeah i mean exactly florida and that stadium like everything is just perfect you know going just, to florida to play matches you get the best yeah. of everything so vibe is just a good so it's it's it's, it's, it's everywhere you go and yeah. uh yeah uh sitting upstairs in the stadium and having that tea and uh that is that is our fun fun moments after yeah. other than cricket. Yeah. So, I mean, with that, the Fort Lauderdale Stadium, there's also the Mac Stadium. So, I know you guys had some matches, you know, there last time. And, it, you know, they've changed it a bit as well. So, how much are you looking forward to, you know, playing games this where I know the pitch there was really nice. And, you know, they've changed it up a bit, too. So, I'm really excited to go back and see kind of, you know, the differences. But how much are you looking forward to kind of have that add-on as well? It's 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 really good for Mac to just have his own ground out there and have stadium and then uh, I I saw he was I think he was putting a turf wicket in there too so mm -hmm. it 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 will be uh, really good to play on on that ground uh, it, and it's quite nice area um, even uh, last time when there wasn't a turf, turf wicket but still it, it's a nice ground so yeah. I, I love to play on that for sure yeah. And then next question. So usually when you're going out there to bat, what are some thoughts that come into your mind? Like, I want to know because the way you score and the way you hit, like, is that something you go in with in mind? Or what is your thought process as you're walking on to that? You know, uh, it's only always been one thought in my head every single time I go there. I don't really have many things. I just want to make sure I see the ball and hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Yeah, so I see no, ball, hit ball. Yeah, yeah. That that is that is the that is the only only thing I have in my head. I don't really see who's gonna bowl or who who is who is bowling out there. But I see if he's in there, if 
fit in that zone keep going doesn't matter if it's the first ball obviously people are different you know you 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 uh, you some people need some time to get yeah. that but for me if he's in there is there is there so exactly so that's yeah. another tip people can try using see ball hit exactly. ball <laughs> exactly <laughs> Okay, next question. So, which cricketer's Instagram do you stalk? Or stalk the most, if there's many. I don't really stalk anybody on Instagram. Okay. But, yeah, it's quite true. Mm, yeah, Shweb Malik is out there. I don't really stalk him, but, yeah. Okay, no, uh, I'm like total opposite i feel like i stalk every cricketer and i'm always <laughs> yeah. waiting for people like especially like brad Coley to post yeah. my yeah. next rapid fire question is have you thought about going on to tiktok it's like the new cricket trend um australia i think their whole team is about to join tiktok <laughs> with david warner and then aaron finch and who knows who's next but have you thought about it <laughs> I, I i looks like i'm very bad in in that acting things and i don't think i'll be able to do it properly so. you should try I need to try. Yeah. I think I'm pretty sure they weren't the best at it first. I remember seeing even Aaron Finch's first video. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, hear me say this, but he's gotten I, better by his third video. I, I might, I really want to try with someone else, maybe probably another player or something. And, you know, okay. it, it's a um, combination of two, three players where, you know, you Maybe can a U.S. Do. All-Stars TikTok. You yes. guys can do, yes. you know, the jersey thing. I can yeah, help that, coordinate. Exactly, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We'll, that, we'll that, yeah that is easy. So that's okay. not a... We'll do thing. this. Okay. Exactly. So viewers yeah. watching, we'll we'll try to get this done for you guys. There you go. It'll be exciting. Yes. Definitely. Yep. Perfect. Okay. The last question is, do you have a secret talent that no one knows about? And we're going to reveal here. Secret talent. Uh, Besides hitting huge sixes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, um, you know, uh, uh, um, secret talent is obviously... Uh, hiding 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 that uh, pressure mm -hmm. you know i don't i i never i never really even though sometimes you know you, i am i know of shit mm -hmm. but i i will never let never you know yeah. you, you can never see on my face even uh, uh i remember the game against usa um i think uh, just current came to me and he said uh, i was i think with the like, last few batsmen and he said Shima Saab, game is done. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of done. But I told him it's not done until I'm yeah. here. Yeah. So it's so that those sort of things, even um, uh, I remember in the World Cup uh, against Stuart Broad, in the game against England, you know, he came and he bowled me first ball right on the ribs. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I said, oh, shit. And then the second ball, he hit my head. So I, and then, you know, Peterson told him, give him another one. So I said, shit, I'm going to, you know. So those uh, uh, moments where mm -hmm. you kind of actually down. Yeah. But you, but I never let him let them know. And I end up scoring exactly. 90, 97 against them. Yeah. So that, that you know, th those things I'm very, I think, uh, brave. I, I, I would say in our... I don't really even, I'm dead from inside, I wouldn't let you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I think that's so, really good, especially in cricket. You know, yeah. if you show those emotions, then yeah. it gets on you as well. You know, you'll think more of it versus keeping yourself calm and, you know, making sure that you overcome whatever pressure yeah, you're feeling. Once Shwe Bakhtar hit me on the shoulder and then uh, he even came to me and said, okay. I said, uh, and Afridi told me, uh, Shah Afridi was there, he said, rub it, rub it. I didn't even rub it. And I, I couldn't even move that shoulder after like three days. So, but that moment, I, I just showed I'm okay. I, I don't yeah. really. So I think that no one knows probably, but that's now what I. No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's why I call you a beast. You know, you're able to like just show with your back, you know, whatever emotions yeah, yeah. you're feeling and everything. So definitely. Yeah. It's it's, uh, it's 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 you know you even scared but still you 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 just you know because uh, uh, I remember the game against USA once mm -hmm. I walked in there was a bowler from uh, uh, somewhere in West Indies they had a new young 
So he bowled few good bounces. I went on the bat. There was another batter on the pitch, and he said, "Shit, man, this guy's quick." And I said, "Okay, let me let me deal with him." I didn't even know, and he was quick. I was not like really sure, but I didn't let him know he's like yeah. he's gonna like, walk over us. Yeah. So few things you need to make sure you know you don't uh, express much to make sure you know otherwise everyone is gonna be oh. oh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, if you have that fear, then it's going to be, you know, if you just take on, like what you said, just see ball, hit ball, you're not worried about who's bowling to you. Like if it's yes. Jaffa Archer bowling, you're not going to be like, oh, Never shoot, watch. I hope I don't die or something like that. Never watch yeah. the bowler. Yeah. Just watch when he bowls. So just watch that ball coming to you. It doesn't matter. You know, I, I have experience of getting out from the, the you know, lowest bowlers ever so yeah. it's not it's not you're gonna get out on anything but it's yeah. it's it's out, when you're out there make sure you know show your authority yeah, let people definitely. know you know you are the boss of this pitch definitely definitely well thank you so much Razan, for joining us here on max tv today on this live session um is there any message you would like to share with the viewers uh message is just you know make sure uh, uh, I you know it's a difficult times out there, and just make sure you know you you do your part to help to you know to flat these these things and you know make sure everything is go back to normal. But it uh, you know the, we all need to play a huge part in that, in that. So just 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 follow the protocols and make sure you know uh, do everything right and help out and reach out to people on phone and calls to make sure you know they're fine. And if you can help in any way to uh, help the less fortunate out there, make sure yeah. you reach out to that too and do all things, all these things. And see you guys soon on the field. I'm I'm very uh, hopeful person, and you know, things should be better soon. So we will see yeah. you all out there. Yes, definitely. Thank you guys all for watching us here on Mac TV. Definitely stay tuned for more exclusive interviews and insights. Thank you so much, Riza, for joining us. And hopefully I get to see you soon in Florida and we get to, you know, have more cricket because I'm seriously missing it. Thank you, Yeah, we are missing it. And see you soon for sure. Yes, definitely. Bye, everyone. Bye.